ChatGPT has taken the world by storm with its impressive language capabilities. But what if we told you that recently the unveiled of GPT-4 takes things to a whole new level? GPT-4 is not just an ordinary language model. Its remarkable ability to generate up to 25,000 words of text and understand images combined with its reasoning capabilities allows it to understand and interact with visual input images in a wide range of visual language tasks. Imagine being able to upload a picture of a math problem and instantly receiving a step-by-step -step solution. This means that GPT-4 has the potential to revolutionize personalized education in subjects like science, history, literature, business, mathematics, and many others. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the GPT model families from OpenAI. We'll also delve into the impressive capabilities of GPT-4, including its ability to understand and reason with complex visual language tasks, and how this can revolutionize industries such as education, medicine, and business, and many others. First, let's take a look from GPT series model. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer Language Models. The GPT series started in 2018 with GPT-1, which had 117 million model parameters. In 2019, GPT-2 was introduced with 1.5 billion parameters, trained on an even larger corpus of text data. Then in 2020, OpenAI released GPT-3 with a staggering 175 billion parameters, making it 100x larger than its predecessor and trained on an even larger data set of text corpus collected from the internet. In 2022, OpenAI continued to improve upon GPT-3 by fine-tuning the model with high-quality text and code using a new design of instructed language model and reinforcement learning with human feedback. And now, in March 2023, they have released GPT-4 Multimodal, which can handle visual image input. Although the details of the model have not been released due to competitive reasons with other text companies like Google and Meta AI, it's still an exciting development for the field. At the core of GPT is an algorithm based on a deep neural network architecture called the Transformer. The Transformer was introduced in a paper by Google researchers titled, Attention is All You Need. The key idea behind the Transformer is something called self-attention. Self-attention is a way for the model to weigh the importance of each word in a sentence based on its relevance to the other words in the sentence. By doing this, the model gains a better understanding of the context of the sentence and can generate more accurate and coherent text. The transformer model consists of two key components, the encoder and the decoder, are connected through a series of attention mechanisms which enable the model to focus on the most relevant parts of the input when generating the output. The encoder reads in the input text and transforms it into a high dimensional representation that captures the meaning of the text. This representation is then passed on to the decoder, which generates the output sequence word by word based on the input representation. GPT series language models use either autoregressive decoder only transformer architectures, where the model is trained to predict the next word for a given prefix phrase, or span corruption based encoder decoder architectures where the training objective is to recover the subset of words masked out of the input. Let's take a closer look at GPT-3, which is a neural network with a massive capacity of 175 billion machine learning parameters. During its pre-training phase, GPT-3's primary objective is to calculate the probability of one word appearing in a given text based on the context of the other words in that text. This calculation is known as the conditional probability of words. For example, in the sentence, I wanted to go for a jog, so I went to get my blank. The blank can be filled with any word. There are countless possibilities, but from what the AI has learned, it thinks that the probabilities of shoes being the next word of the sentence is higher than the word chicken. GPT-3 is trained on hundreds of billions of words, including books, Wikipedia, and the general web, which includes coding. The training data is all-encompassing and doesn't require further training for specific language tasks. In other words, it can apply what it's learned to many other things without human supervision. 
by understanding and processing the contextual relationships between words, GPT-3 is able to generate coherent and sophisticated text, including programming languages and other fields, all in natural language. Its ability to generate text that is often indistinguishable from human written text is nothing short of... GPT-4 is the next generation of impressive and sophisticated language models that excels at transforming ideas, thoughts, and dreams into written text. Unlike its predecessor from GPT-1 to GPT-3, GPT-4 possesses an exceptional understanding of images and can accurately predict logical concepts related to them. For instance, it can predict that cutting the strings in a picture would cause the balloons to fly away. Now let's dive into detail the training process for GPT-4, unlike GPT-3 which was trained solely on text data to predict the next word. Although OpenAI has not released the detailed architecture of the GPT-4 model, the model's ability to accept image inputs and produce text outputs we can infer from the existing techniques developed over the past few years that it likely trains with the objective of incorporating knowledge from both language and vision domains. To achieve this, GPT-4 uses dual stream transformers to process both visual and textual data, along with cross-attention models that combine information from both domains. GPT-4 employs a vision encoder model to process visual input and a decoder language model to process text input, resulting in a highly capable vision and language model. This unified language image model allows GPT-4 to perform a wide range of tasks, including explaining jokes, answering visual questions in different languages. Overall, GPT-4 represents a significant advancement in learning objectives by combining knowledge from both language and vision domains. To train the GPT-4 model, OpenAI leverages massive large-scale web corpora that contain arbitrarily interleaved text and images found on the internet. While the exact size and composition of the database used to train GPT-4 have not been officially disclosed, it is likely that OpenAI has compiled a vast and diverse collection of web pages and other digital content to feed into the model's training process. By exposing the model to a broad range of text and image data from across the web, GPT-4 can learn to generate high-quality text and make accurate predictions about images in a wide variety of contexts. Let's take a closer look at what GPT-4 is capable of. As a generally capable vision and language model, it can perform vast amount of tasks. In terms of visual tasks, GPT-4 can describe images and express logical ideas about them. To better understand its visual capabilities, let's take a closer look at a detailed example of how GPT-4 leverages its visual understanding to perform tasks. So, I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up, and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. All right, going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. Technology is now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next. Right? It played this, this game of, sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally, we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mockup. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. 
And this is all just potential. Continuing the success of the previous generation language models, GPT 3.5 Codex and ChatGPT, GPT 4 demonstrates its incredible ability to write computer software in any programming language. With GPT 4, developers can now generate complex software code simply by describing their intentions in natural language. Let's take a look at some examples of games developed entirely by GPT 4 without any input from a human developer. These games were generated entirely by GPT-4, from the game mechanics to the graphics and sound effects, and this is just the beginning of what GPT-4 can do. With its advanced language understanding and knowledge, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we develop software and change the face of programming forever. GPT-4's capabilities in reasoning and knowledge retention are significantly enhanced compared to its predecessors. An excellent example of this is its ability to generate one-click lawsuits 1,000 words to sue robocallers for $1,500. But GPT-4's capabilities don't stop there. It also demonstrates outstanding performance in other domains and tasks. GPT-4 model capabilities on a range of benchmarks beginning with exams designed for humans for exam evaluations. The post-trained model variant was used, however, no specialized training was performed to prepare for the exams. One technical point to note is that a minority of exam problems were seen during training for such cases. The model is re-evaluated with these questions excluded, and then the score is updated to be the lower of the original score, and the score with these questions excluded the exams themselves, included multiple choice questions and freeform questions images were provided to the model when the questions required them. Finally, the evaluation setup and prompt design were developed on validation exams with final results reported on held out exams. Here are the GPT 3.5 exam results ordered in increasing performance on the y-axis. We have the estimated percentile lower bound among test takers on the x-axis. We have the exam taken 5 was not able to make much focus on like AP Calculus BC up to those such as AP Environmental Science where GPT 3.5 is already among the top percentiles of test takers in light green. We can see how GPT 4 language only model improves these results. While in dark green we see places where GP4 multimodal vision and language does better still. For many topics, GPAT4 achieves major gains. The next experiments compare models on seven academic benchmarks MMLU for multiple choice questions spanning 57 subjects. Helleswag for common sense reasoning, AI2 reasoning challenge for grade school multiple choice science questions, Wino Grande for common sense reasoning, Human Evil for Python coding tasks, Drop for reading comprehension and arithmetic, GSM 8K for grade school mathematics. We can compare GPT 4 few shot with GPT 3.5 few shot and other the best few shot from other language models. The current state of the art allowing for benchmark specific fine tuning. Here are the results on all benchmarks. GPT-4 performs very strongly, outperforming GPT-3.5 and the prior fuse shot state-of-the-art in some cases by very large margins. GPT-4 also outperforms fine-tuned models in all cases except the drop benchmark where a fine-tuned method still performs best. Noting that most machine learning benchmarks are in English, the authors next assess the capabilities of GPT-4 beyond English by translating the MMLU benchmark into other languages using Azure Translate, then re-evaluating the model. We can examine the results by plotting accuracy along the x-axis and noting that a random guessing baseline scores 25 other points of reference include evaluations on the English variant of the benchmark. With Chinchilla model from DeepMind scores 67, Palm from Google Research which scores 69.3% and GPT 3.5 which scores 70.1% in this setup, GPT 4 scores 85.5 a cost of range of other languages. It is found that GPT-4 outperform compared to existing large language models. Future implications of generative language models and multimodal models are immense. With the latest advancements in artificial intelligence, GPT-4 represents a significant leap in natural language processing and computer vision. It's capable of generating coherent and convincing text as well as understanding and processing visual information. 
As we continue to refine these models, we can expect to see even more applications in various industries, from gaming and entertainment to healthcare and finance. However, as with any technology, there are also concerns about the ethical implications of these models, such as their potential to create fake news or perpetuate biases. It's up to us to ensure that these models are developed and used responsibly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the future of generative language models and multimodal models.